Okay, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lasagna with Essential Piece of Life. I'm actually taking a break from making Easter baskets. And while I was making the Easter baskets, working with Minnie, I had an idea about Mother's Day. So, um, while I had the idea fresh in my head, I had to move a lot of my Easter stuff to go and find the things um, that fit the idea that I was thinking of. So, I had a couple of mugs. Um, I had a couple of mugs, and I went ahead and put this one together. Right? Wild thing, and it's just a mini gel lamp I found at the Dollar Tree, a nail kit I found at the Dollar Tree. Um, and also this nail art I found at the Dollar Tree. This hand cream came from uh, Big Lots, and there were three in a pack. So this, um, also this gel nail polish and the fast drying um, top coat that goes on top. That also came from the um, Big Lots. So this um, mug I found at the, if I'm not mistaken, the, the Dollar Tree. So these things, um, I actually found um, this mug after Valentine's Day. So uh, I don't know, maybe it fits, maybe it doesn't, but I like the panther. I mean, I like the leopard on it. It's really, really pretty. So this is a, a mug that I put together. And so I did two of those. I only had two of those mugs, but I could have did more because I have other mugs. But that one in particular was on my mind. And the shred that I used um, came from, um, it's really cute, I think. Um, it kind of brings out the wording in there. I found this at uh, Hobby Lobby, right? So, um, so while I was here, I said, well, maybe I can make a video. And so what I was thinking of um, is doing one for uh, that's nails and doing one for hair care, right? So um, I found these bowls at the Dollar Tree. They came four in a pack, right? So I'm just, I'm just going to do two of them and see how it works out. So I fiddled around with those and they're finished and um, I'm going to wrap them later, but I'm going to um, go ahead and attempt this um, one for hair care. So I have some well, body and, and hair. So I have some coconut oil, body oil. It's really good. It's 100%. It's coconut oil. That's all it is. It's just coconut oil. Well, it has, um, also has grape seed oil and soybean oil and mineral oils in it. But this is coconut oil, body oil. And also I have some hair oils. Um, for those of us who um, use oils in our hair, this is the basket for those people. All right, so, and also I have a scalp massager. I'm gonna try to get that in there. Um, I have that in black and in pink, right? And I also have um, this set. So this, I think, yes, it came from um, Big Lots. So I got this also um, right before Valentine's Day, actually. They had these on sale. So these were 90% off. It has a, a little loofah sponge in it, um, the shower gel, and um, the lotion. And this one is coconut as well. So I'm going to take this out the pack and put it in, in this basket. Um, also, um, these are shower caps. These are shower caps, and they came from the, the Dollar Tree. And these are um, also these are hair bonnets, right? So these came from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna attempt to do um, hair body, you know, um, basket with these little bowls. So I just been thinking, you know, um, some of my customers they come and they they want to find something um, that is um, affordable or, you know, um, less expensive, you know. So I'm gonna try to attempt to accommodate them in this. So I'm just gonna put some shred down in that basket and it'll look real cute from the outside because it's clear. So I'm not gonna put any paper in there. I'm only gonna put shred. 
This is the idea. So you're going to watch me work this out. Hopefully it works out. All right, so um, I have my bigger things. Now, when you have from the Dollar Tree, you get little things and they be hanging. They have little holes in it like this right here. Um, there's a little space here that you can cut maybe on that line and cut that off. And it looks more professional. Okay? It looks more like um, professional. That's, that's about the only word I can find for that. So sometimes I cut it in a, like, round it off, but this time I'm just going to cut it like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do both of them or all of them like that. Just cut that. This one also, cut it. unbag these. Let's go ahead and unbag it so we'll have it ready. Um, I don't know how this is going to work out. You wa you walking through it with me, okay? I may put this on a, I may put this on a pick and put it down inside of there. I don't know yet. Um, try not to throw things away. Like, you know, they just get everything they pay for, okay? Don't throw it away. Um, it may be useful. Even this ribbon. So we'll see. We're not going to throw it away. We're just going to unbag it, um, unbox it, or whatever you call it. We're going to open it up. Oh, look at that. That's the drawstring bag. See, I just might put that bag right back in there. I may just put it down in the bottom of here and put the, the shred on top, and then they can have this bag too. Okay? Or maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. unbag that we got this so we'll see we're gonna play around with it and see what happens okay because that's a nice little bag okay so let's unbox the other one or unbag it like i said i might take this and put a pick on it maybe I'm glad I didn't cut that string. Turns out it was a, a drawstring bag. That would have ruined the whole bag. Okay. Let's take those out. All right. And um, also, I don't know if this is gonna fit in the, in the bag but I have some soap, right? These and flower brand soap, okay? So it comes in a four pack. I brought these from the um, Asian store, right? So this soap is sandalwood, ginseng, jasmine, and rose, right? And it smells really, really good. They're a small, bottle, small bar of soap, you see? Like a little hand soap, right? But they pack a big punch, okay? This this company been around for a while, making soap, bees, and flower brand. And they were $4.99 for the whole pack. So now that we got everything um, taken out, and I think we got a little shred in there. Maybe, let me see. I'm gonna do one with the bag, and then I'm gonna do one without the bag. We'll see how it works out. All right, we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna fold it in half, or you know, fold it in quarters, whatever. So, I'm just going to put this on the bottom. Let's see how that works out. And then, um, and if it works out, then I'll just go ahead and, I'll just go ahead and um, do the other one the same way. So, they can have their back. All right? I don't need it. So, Charles thing first. So, we're going to put this in there. Right? And then, we have this. Make sure it's closed, y'all. Make sure it's closed tight. So, we're going to put that in there. Um, these two are together, so we're just going to put that in there and make sure it's closed. I see it's a, um, a top on here, so those are together, so we're just going to go ahead. As a matter of fact, are they together? Oh, yeah, they do together. All right, so we're just going to put that in there like that. Uh, let's push it up against that so it don't fall too far. Okay, so we got those two together. 
Um, what else we got? So this will probably go in the back. This will probably go in the back. This little pig. Um, scalp massager. So we'll put that back there. And then also we have a shower cap. Right? I don't like the shower cap in the front like that. I might even need that shower cap out all together. But it, it's a cute little addition, but um, I don't like it. So we may even need that out all together. So actually, this is everything except this oil, right? can I include everyone in on the sale, right? And um, there's a lot of things that, that, that we can do, you know, that would make a really nice bag, right? So um, all of this is a theme all together. And I wanted to put this in there because it adds a little color in there. And I still might do that. I'm trying to figure out how to, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to hide the face right there with the body. I want you to be able to see everything that's in here. So, um, and it's just about taping all these things together and making sure that they stand up, okay? I'm not going to wrap it right now. I'm just giving them um, a little idea, you know. So, those bowls came in very handy. They came four to a pack, right? So, they're four to a pack. I bought them for a dollar and a quarter. Y'all know it's a dollar and a quarter now, right? I can do the math, you know, divide that. It's, you know, 30, I don't know, 31 cent, 32 cent, whatever per bowl. And then um, this three piece set right here was, um, well, it was 90% off, so it only cost me 15 cent for these, right? And then um, this was a dollar, this was a dollar, this was a dollar, and this was a dollar, right? So that's four dollars right there. And then, you know, another dollar or whatever the case may be. Then you got your bowl. I mean, you got your bag, you got your shred, um, you got, um, you also got your bowl that you put on it. So whatever you charge for that. So this is an extra small bag. You know, I have like this mini, this mini basket. Um, it may be a $10 cost for the packaging of this, right, for me. You know, or this, uh, if you call it a small bag or you call it a medium bag or you call it a large bag, whatever the case may be. If your uh, base price um, for a small bag is $5 or $8 or 10, so say 10, right? So if this is a small basket and you charge in ten dollars basically for the bag, the packaging, that's everything, the shred, the the the, the packing paper, whatever goes inside the tissue paper, the the um the container, the bag, the bowl, you know, whatever that is, you know what I'm saying? You whatever you charge for that is the base price. But this right here, as you can see, is a third of the size of this mini basket. And this is my small basket. Okay, so what would I charge for something like this? That's the question. So while I'm putting these together, I'll figure out how long it takes me, whatever the case may be. Um, and as you can see, it didn't take very long at all. And as a matter of fact, I probably can put four of these together in a span of about 20 minutes. Um, and, and so that'll be a time spent. So if I say that my time, you know, um, is about $30 an hour, right? And it takes me... 20 minutes to put four of these together i mean what is the cost of this extra small um gift basket right what is the cost right so anyway um so we can put that's that's a good idea so that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna finish this up and then i'm gonna bag it 
and then um i'll show you the picture at the end right so um and then i don't know i may put this pic in there and it just say what it is you know but you can see what it is because it's right here on the front i don't need the pic right i don't need that i can put it on there because i mean i like to give them what they what they paid for you know maybe i'll put it on the outside of the bag maybe not because it tells you everything that's inside of it too but the label on the outside tells you the same thing so i don't need to pick what i can do is maybe put a little i don't know a little b pick in there or something like that but you'll see the bag when it's finished but right now i just wanted to give you some ideas and let you know that this thing right here um and so 15 cent um 30 cent 45 cent you know plus four dollars four dollars and 35 cents um, basically is what it's cost me without the bag and the bow and all that good stuff. And like I said, you know, this extra small basket, I have not been able to, I can't put a price on it at this time, right? I can't put a price on it because, um, it probably be something like 15, $20. Okay. This one right here is definitely going to be a $20 basket. This one will probably be like 15 to $20 also. And that's something that my customers would appreciate something small something sleek nice little you know nice little bow on there something you know to kind of bring it all together whatever case may be it's going to be jazzy or whatever so i'll show you the pictures at the end but these are ideas um mother's day ideas and i'm going to put these on the table for easter i have been working on mother's day i've been working on father's day i've been working on easter all at the same time and every bag that i have made so far is going on the table for Easter, right? Everything is on the table because there's only about three weeks between Easter and Mother's Day, and then there's about six weeks between Mother's Day and Father's Day. Everything is on the table, everything. And I'm gonna be once I once once these gift baskets hit the table, I will be there until they're sold, every one of them. Now, if I sell everything by Mother's Day then I'll be working on some more stuff for Father's Day, right? But I will be wrapping until everything is wrapped and I will be selling until everything is sold. From April, um, this first week in April, second week in April, all the way through the third week in June, I will be out here on the streets and I have events to go to as well. So this is what we're doing. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I, if you like what you saw, I appreciate it if you uh like the video press the thumbs up and then um subscribe to my channel and also comment and share the video just gift ideas small gift ideas for your customers thanks for stopping by you guys have a great day